everyone, I'm Ivy, and I'm excited to start this 10-day fast with you. Um, just a disclaimer for anybody else who may be watching, I am hosting a 10-day fast in my private Facebook group, and if you would like to be included, please leave a comment below. Yeah, I am honored to embark on this 10-day fast with you. In this time, I will be answering your questions, supporting you through any challenges you may have, revealing some of my own challenges, and also posting daily motivational videos. If there's any way else you could use support from me, please let me know. I want to start by asking you all to be patient with me as I will also be fasting during this time and fasting does in some ways decrease your energy levels and to be quite honest I started my fast on Friday on my birthday and so this is actually day three of me on water only. I'm feeling pretty strong in this moment but day two and half of today we're a little a little weak it took me quite some time to actually <laughs> muster up the energy to get dressed and come out here to shoot this video um, but I'm feeling great now and I have my water by my side <laughs> to support me but yeah just be gentle with me um, if I don't post something as soon as you think it should be posted or anything like that just check in to make sure that I'm okay too because I'm on this fast with you and even though I'm leading you I'm also working on my own spiritual and mental and physical healing as well this is my second water fast and it's only a little easier this time so it's definitely not something to play around with this is why I mentioned to some of you in the group who plan to do a water fast that you know if you haven't done one before it's something to possibly think about working up to you don't want to go from eating a standard American diet to just doing a you know 10 or 30 day water fast it's, it can be pretty intense on your system and if you have any medical issues if you're taking prescription drugs for anything that may be life-threatening you may not want to do a water fast and I definitely wouldn't recommend it myself to you um, I don't want to have any liability in that <laughs> But you can always consult a medical professional as well as a naturopathic professional to have guidance through that. Um, but there are a few women in our group who are doing water fast and I'm so excited. Um, one of them has done a 16 day fast before, so water fast. So hopefully she can give any guidance and tips in the group as well. I have done many fasts and cleanses myself as well as researched many different kinds of fast and cleanse so I feel that I'm pretty abreast on the fasting process and the cleansing process um, no matter whether you're doing a water fast or you're doing a smoothie fast or you're doing a raw fast raw food fast I do feel that I'm pretty abreast on the what to do's and what not to do's just from trial and error on myself as well as research that I've done so please feel free to ask me any questions that you have either below in the comment box or in our private Facebook group. I hope that you all will find our time together informing and uplifting and inspirational. To begin our fast together, I would like to invite you all to focus your energy on the right perspective. And that is an attitude of gratitude. Well, oftentimes when you're on a fast, you feel this sense of lack and it's because you're not able to eat or have certain types of drinks that you may want to have and that's normal of course but I want to invite you to quickly shift your energy in those moments from lack to gratitude it's going to bring forth much greater results for your um, fast when you go into it with gratitude instead of thinking like I can't have a piece of cake and it's a cake right there and it's free like I want some cake this sucks you can shift your mindset and sometimes it's good to do something like snap so that your brain is triggered on different levels um, but you can shift your um, perspective to one of gratitude in saying actually 
it's interesting to see so many people eating cake. I know what cake does to the body. And I'm so grateful for this time and the opportunity to be able to cleanse and heal, to connect to my higher self and deepen my spirituality, to heal my body in any way that it needs to be healed, to heal my emotional body in any way that it needs to be healed. I'm grateful for this time and I'm grateful for the resources that I have in order to do this fast and do it well. And that includes our Facebook group, right? Because I've done fasts and cleanses before and it can be pretty difficult to do them on your own. So I'm grateful for you all coming along this with me. These past three days of water only, I will say that just knowing that this group is here and I'm responsible for <laughs> making sure that everyone kind of stays on track and motivated it's helped me to stay motivated because i swear there are a few times i just got up and walked to the kitchen like i was about to go get something to eat and i'm like oh wait i'm fasting <laughs> that's why i'm hungry having you all there virtually <laughs> helps me stay even stronger on the fast and hopefully that will be something that helps you all stay accountable as well. Okay, so I asked everyone in the group what the group intention should be. I feel like we should focus our energy on one specific intention because there's power in numbers, right? So there's certain things that we can all benefit from and um, you guys gave great responses. Some of them were to deepen your spirituality and your connection to your source, your power, your God. Some of you wanted to deepen your connection to yourself and be able to listen to yourself more. Some of you wanted wisdom and understanding and the ability to respond well in certain situations that may cause pain or anger. So the majority of the responses were clarity. So we're going to go with clarity. However, clarity really corresponds to all of the things that everyone listed. Clarity and spirituality are hand in hand. So as you deepen your spiritual practice, the more clarity you will have. So for those who want to heighten their spirituality, clarity is an intention that we can all focus on because that's going to call forth a necessity to deepen your spirituality. So clarity is a great intention for us all. Clarity to understand how to react in certain situations with love and peace instead of anger and pain and fear. Clarity on wisdom and understanding. Clarity in understanding and following your own intuition. I think a few ladies wanted to deepen their intuition and having the intention for clarity will definitely bring forth the ability for you to get more clear on your own intuition. So you all have your own intentions and focuses for this fast and you must have those in order to bring you through this process. But I do ask that along with those things, you all focus a few minutes every day to building on to the intention for clarity within yourself and all of us in the group. And that can be done through prayer, meditation, journaling, etc. I did want to remind you all that last Thursday was the new moon and the new moon is a great time to write your intentions so that you can bring forth and manifest those intentions into the next phase of your reality. And usually you have a three day window to utilize the intensity of the new moon or the full moon. So today would be the third day. So I would suggest that tonight before you go to bed and slip into a different level of consciousness, you write down your intentions for yourself for this fast. And we have three levels of cleansing in the group going on. We have the water fasters, we have the juice fasters, and then there's another option to do a liquid fast, which includes juice, smoothies, water, and um, fresh fruit. You can also take supplements during this time if you would like for those who are just doing the liquid and fruit fast. Um, typically, you wouldn't want to take supplements during a water or a juice fast, but you need to do what's best for your body. So if you feel like there's something that you know you need to or want to take, feel free to do that. 
but in the water fasting process and the juice fasting process your body is really shutting down levels of digestion so that it can work on healing you on a deeper level than it's normally able to do because digestion is one of your body's biggest jobs and it takes a lot of energy so by not taking any supplements um, that aren't required to sustain your life um, you're really allowing your body to kind of shut down those levels of digestion and work on you and through you in different ways it's a pretty powerful process um, but I did want to give some tips to those who are doing water fast and juice fast because they can be a little intense, especially for 10 days. I don't want any of you to take this lightly. Those who are doing the liquid fast with smoothies and fruit will be able to sustain themselves a little bit easier. But a water fast and a juice fast is going to be challenging. Your body will be sending you alarms <laughs> and you need to be aware so that when those alarms come you know that it's part of the process and it's okay for your body to be a little shaky or weak but there are some things that are not okay so if you do have challenges during this period i please ask you to post in the group so that we can all help you through it you may even need to switch up your fast from water to juice or from juice to smoothies so that you are doing what's necessary to sustain your energy a water fast and juice fast for 10 days can definitely be done there are people who do 40 day fast and even 90 day fast and are fine um, but usually for 90 day fast there are water fasting retreats that help you and make sure that your vital levels are okay during that time and they may retire you from the fast if you need it so I just want you all to be aware that this is not a game it's not to be going it's not to go into it lightly but it is something that you can do you are strong and powerful but you need to be aware of what may happen so some of the symptoms for water fast specifically are um, lightheadedness so if you are sitting down or squatting for whatever reason and you need to stand up really quickly don't do it very fast stand up very slow sometimes in yoga we do this thing where we stand and our head is the last thing to come up because sometimes when you get up even when you are eating you may have remembered a time where you got up really quickly and you felt off balance you almost lost your balance or you felt dizzy and when you're fasting especially water fast and juice fast you may have that more intense i know i felt that on the second day you may feel pains in your body um, in different places. I know I was feeling some back pain and some neck like all over my back yesterday and this morning. Um, normally those will subside, but they may or may not for a few days. Um, so mine have, it's only been three days for me, but mine have come and go within, I'll say 30 minutes or so, or so. But everybody is different and everybody's body has gone through different things. I'm vegan, or I'll say I'm plant-based because sometimes I'm not completely vegan. Um, but I'm plant-based, so I don't really eat a lot of junk food in the standard American diet. So I'm at a different level in my body. Um, but if you're coming from eating a diet full of meat and processed foods, then your body is going to be detoxing on a different level and you may feel more pain than I would feel. But just be aware that there are going to be some body pains and aches. You may even be in a detox process at some point during this cleanse where you get cold and flu-like symptoms, whether that's runny nose, itchy throat, on top of the body aches and pains so be aware of that that's not necessarily a reason to stop your fast sometimes that's a reason to continue it because your body is letting you know that you have work to do and it is getting to the work but you just have to play it by ear play it by how you feel do you feel strong enough to keep going um, and you can always again ask me in the group and there are a few other women in the group who have done longer fast that can also help you but all right that is it for what i wanted to say on this day before we start our fast together i hope you are all excited and intentional and focused to 
go the full 10 days. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or in the private Facebook group. Again, if anybody who else is watching this, maybe on YouTube, would like to join us, please let me know in the comments below and I will get you in touch with our Facebook group. If you're watching this in the future, you can follow the 10 days to get the motivational advice as well. Please like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to do videos like this for you and everyone else. And again, I'm excited to everyone in the group that is joining me on this 10-day fast. It's going to be a 13-day fast for me because I'm going to go the 10 days with you all, but I, have, I did, again, already start, so this is day three for me. Um, and I'm excited. I feel really good right now. I think the sun that is shining on me and it's probably making me squint through this whole video. But I think the sun has really been helping to give me some energy. And I will talk to you all later.